magnanimous Maureen. Back in the affluent 1970s, when I was young and my voice still tenor, I appeared in several small roles and in the choruses of several National Arts Center summer operas in Ottawa, Canada. The most memorable of these was Tchaikovsky's Queen of Spades in 1976. It starred two of Canada's opera elite, tenor John Vickers and contralto Maureen Forrester, under the baton of maestro Mario Bernardi. We in chorus knew our place in the opera pecking order and were quietly respectful in the star's presence. In a dramatic high point in Act Three, Scene One of the opera, Maureen Forrester, as the Countess Ghost, was summoned unwillingly from the dead by gambler Herman, played by John Vickers, to reveal the three secret cards for him to win at a game of chance. Each night, chorus members like myself would group quietly in the wings to watch this exciting dramatic scene. In the final performance, I stood quite close to Miss Forrester backstage as she waited to enter for her dramatic ghost appearance. As she headed on stage on cue, I heard a horrid rip sound. Damn, I was standing on the end of the ghost countess's flowing robe. I quickly jumped back, but too late. She turned, gave me a horrified, pallid, ghostly look, then fled on stage. As soon as the curtain finally closed, after many curtain calls, I sheepishly approached Miss Forrester, who held a bouquet of yellow roses in her hand. I mumbled my humble apologies to her. My dear, she smiled and said graciously, that scene has never before been so dramatic. I was worried about which parts of the Countess's body were uncovered, but the audience gasped and loved it. Thank you, my dear. It was pure, unplanned, unadulterated drama. With that, she kissed me on the cheek, then plucked and handed me a yellow rose from her bouquet. A truly great artist makes the most of unexpected opportunities. <laughs>